Kay. You're watching It's Just K1 here on YouTube. How y'all doing? How y'all doing? Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Yes, I have on a piece. This is a new piece I have since last year that I didn't get to wear. I'm not a fan of the bob, but I think it's cute. It's fitting for today. Happy New Year, y'all. I see y'all made it through uh, Christmas, New Year's Eve, New Year's Day. Now we're already in January, January 5th, January 5th, 6th. Where we on, y'all? Where we on? <laughs> I thought we we on January 6th. It's going to be January 7th, so tonight. Late at night, y'all. But anyway, how y'all doing? Y'all ready for 2024 and what it all has in store? Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? So, this little chit-chat and little sit-down is coming to you from Kay. All new people, come on in, come on in. You are always welcome. And returning people, you know the deal. Y'all know the deal. So anyway, I wanted to get on here and wrap a taste with y'all and discuss and have a little chit chat about 2024 new year glow up okay we have a cocktail and i think i used this before this stonewall kitchen pomegranate cosmo mixer i think i did and on the back they have three recipes they have a pomegranate cosmopolitan they have a pomegranate island punch and a pomegranate breeze pomegranate breeze is no liquor Pomegranate Island Punch has two liquors, and the Pomegranate Cosmopolitan has Pomegranate Cosmo Mixer, Vodka, a splash of Triple Sec, and a Lemon Twist. Pomegranate Cosmopolitan, y'all. So, we're going to take a sip. Let me show you how it looks. It's pretty. Oh, it came out pretty, y'all. See? It came out very pretty. Could have used less vodka. But anyway, y'all. <laughs> it's all right. Anyway, y'all, how y'all doing? Are y'all ready for 2024? I am. I definitely am. But let's get to it. For the glow up. It's short, y'all. It's a short list. Okay. Let's talk about it. Let's reevaluate. I got my notes here on my phone, y'all. Normally, I have it on paper, y'all. No, I usually had cards, but I got it on paper. Let's talk about some things. So, for 2024, this is for everybody, not just me. For everybody. Let's get our digital. Y'all know I'm, y'all know I'm losing my losing my thing, losing my thing. Let's get our digital space together. And what I mean in digital space is clean out clutter, reset in subscriptions that you're paying for that you may not be using. Go through your phone, delete apps that you're not using. Delete them, take them off. I have an email box for Google that I haven't been in and I don't know. I it's probably my Yahoo inbox it probably has twenty five thousand emails. Go in there and delete out, clear all that stuff out so you can get the new exciting things in. So I have to do you I have to do Yahoo. I got two Googles. Clear them out. Delete them. Trash everything. Keep the important stuff and delete the old stuff. So do a digital space cleaning. Also you have apps on your phone that you're not using. I think your phone will even give you a notification if you have apps on it that you haven't used, I think, in six months to a year. Take them off. Free up space. So you can invite in a new stuff. So get control of your digital space. That's with apps, phones, computers, whatever you have. If you're not using it, it should be out of there. Next one. Patience. Please show patience to people. I know, I know, I know people that are having the damn food. I know. But please, show a little patience. That's with your service workers, with your co-workers, with people you come in contact, with your family, whoever. Show a little, try to show a little patience. You know, I have to work on that. So we have patience and we did digital getting it together, you know. Okay. This is one that might, 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 might irk some people. Black men, please stop bashing the black woman. All last year, from January 1 to January 31st. Now, I'm on social media a lot. I'm on TikTok, I'm on Instagram, and I'm swiping and sliding. I'm on Facebook. And just in basic conversation, black men, stop bashing the black woman. Now, to the other side of that, I know that black women bash black black men, but last year it just it just tipped over. 
It was just and then and then and then and then everything you slide across. All these relationship gurus and all these people talking and talking and talking and yelling and talking over each other. It was the black man bashing the black woman. Stop it. Black women are queens. Treat them right. Then you don't have to bash them. Okay? Everybody's situation is a little bit different, but stop bashing. Stop it. You're not going to get, nobody going to get further. Stop the bashing. Black man, please. Stop bashing the black woman. Okay? I'm sure that may take some people off. I don't really care. <laughs> Next. Bad behavior in 2024 would not be tolerated. Last year, we had some bad actors. That's whether it be on the work front, in the personal lives, in family relationships, friendships. I don't know what other type of, maybe organizational relationships, social media relationships. Bad behavior was tolerated. It seems like bad behavior is the thing. No. Get yourself together. Be respectful. Be mindful. Be considerate. Be compassionate. Have empathy. Bad behavior will not be tolerated in 2024, y'all. Yeah. Celebrate every achievement. Even if you have to go out and celebrate yourself. Solo. Celebrate it. You might have to do it alone, but celebrate it. Get therapy. Get therapy. There's nothing wrong with it. Nothing to be embarrassed about. Nothing to be ashamed about. Men and women. Men and women. Get therapy. Family therapy. Group therapy. Couples therapy. Solo therapy. For the woman. And single mom. Kids. Family. Men, get therapy. Ain't nothing wrong with a man going to therapy. Please, man, get some therapy. Because your mindset, your mindset shift. Try to eliminate negativity to open yourself up for the positivity to come in. So get you some therapy. Next one. Are you hearing or are you listening? Hearing, you're just hearing a person's voice. You know, like Charlie Brown teacher. You're hearing, right? If you're listening, you're paying attention to absorb the meaning of what a person is saying. So two different, two different things there. If you're hearing, you just, you just, that's it. But if you're hearing, if you're listening, you're paying attention to the person to absorb what they're saying and getting to the point and trying to understand them. Just don't sit there like this. <laughs> they know you ain't listening to them. Showing support. Show support with time, not always with just money. You know, we're quick to throw some dollars down for people and stuff like that. But show it with time. Put in some time. Spend time. Charity work. Spend time. Everything about showing support is not always with money. Yes, some things could be done with providing a gift, donating, charity, blah, blah, blah. But you could also spend time. Get in there and get dirty. Get down in there and get dirty in the ground. Get down. Show some time. Spend some time. Okay? Health and wellness. Now, y'all know. I was going to bring that up. Health and wellness. The glow up. You know what health and wellness is about. I'm not even going to get into that because we, we didn't talk about this a trillion million times. Get yourself together. That's all I'm going to say. Health and wellness. Get yourself together. Oh, I'm going to take I'm gonna take heed to a lot of these. But health and wellness. Get yourself together. Don't worry about all these other people. Get yourself together. Finances. That's another big one. Are you doing any big purchases this year? Are you paying off debt? Do you have an emergency savings? I'm not gonna come. I'm not gonna come around at you. You know, you you know, you know who you are, including me. Big purchases, paying off debt, and emergency savings. I'm sure, we all been there. Probably there right now. Probably didn't jacked up the damn credit card since Christmas. Get yourself together. Travel. Are you traveling this year? Are you going on a trip internationally? Are you going local? Are you doing a staycation? What's your plans for travel? I'm sure that has to be budgeted. Budget has to include finances and travel and everything else. Personal style. You can glow up on your personal style. You can glow up with uh, refresh your new wardrobe, refresh your look, skin care, hair, nails, feet, everything. Give yourself a personal glow up. At your own pace. You know what you're comfortable with. You know what you're not comfortable with. Step a little bit outside your comfort zone. Maybe with a new outfit, new wardrobe. Change your hair color. Change your hairstyle. 
Throw on a little makeup if you're not. Hey, I'm not a makeup person either. A little lip gloss, a little eyeliner. New, new, new um shades. New eyeglasses. New prescription. Get you some new frames. Personal glow up. Love. We all want love. We all need love. If you're dating, keep dating. If you're a single person and you haven't met anybody, maybe put yourself in situations where you can meet people. Join groups, join clubs, go to functions. You're not going to meet nobody sitting in the house on the internet. I mean, you know what I mean. Sitting in the house, you're not going to meet anybody. But you have to put yourself out. You have to go out. You have to meet people. Online dating may be an avenue for you. It may not be for some people. But attend events. That's how you can meet people and mingle and talk. You don't have to make the reason you're going to the event to meet someone to get with. You make the reason you're going to the event to meet new people. That's the thing. You're going to have a good time. Regardless if you meet anybody or not. If you meet somebody and y'all click, that's extra. But do not make the main focus of going to someone's party, anniversary party, retirement party, 50th birthday, whatever, wedding. The reason you're going is to meet some dude or meet some female. You're going to have a good time. If you meet somebody, it's okay. But you have to put yourself in those situations to meet people. So get on out there. Some things you may have to go solo. Hey, I've been in stuff solo before. It's a good time. You go up, you introduce yourself to people, and you start talking. I'm telling you, it's not hard. It may be awkward, but do it a couple of times. You'll get the hang of it. Put yourself in a situation to meet. So if you're in love, more power to y'all couples. If you're married, more power to y'all couples. If you're getting divorced, if you're separated, work it out. If you're single, get yourself out there to mingo. If you're in love, be in love. I would love to be in love. <laughs> I don't have any constituents right now, y'all. But I'm going to put myself in some situations to meet people. So, love can be on the horizon for us all. Yeah. Remember that. I think I... Did I get them all for y'all? Yeah. So, I bought up a whole lot of things for y'all. Take yourself out to dinner. Ain't no wrong. Hey, hey, if you can't take yourself on a date, what are you doing? Get more in tune with you. 2024 could be a great year. My 2023 was not so great. It was great because I was alive and I had my family and friends. But <laughs> on some other tiers and levels, <laughs> it was whack, y'all. You know? <laughs> it was a lot of drama going on. So since I do have a therapist now, she helped me a lot towards the end of the last year. And I will be getting hooked up back with her again this year. But you have to take the time and make the effort to put in the work. No matter what it is, whether it's a relationship, no matter if it's a job, no matter if it's a business, organization, no matter if you're single, you're trying to find someone or meet up with people, a marriage, a relationship. You already have a relationship with family can grow closer. Relationship with coworkers can grow closer. Relationship with your man or your or your woman can grow closer. But you gotta put in the work. Save money. Budgeting. Paying off these credit cards, y'all. Debt management. Cleaning out the clutter. Not just with I told you to clean out the clutter from social from your um digital world. Clean out clutter, period. If you are dealing with people that aren't cheerleading you on and pushing you to do better, you need to get another crew, another tribe. People should push you, your friends should push you to do better because they know you can do better and they want that for you because they care about you. But if you so bent that you can't be pushed and you don't want to change and you don't want to do this and that, you're going to be sitting in that house by yourself. So if you like doing that, I guess it's okay. But anyway, I am Kay. I just want to say Happy New Year. Cheers. We got work to do, y'all, but I think it'll pay off in the end. So, I just jumped on here to give you a 2024 New Year glow up. Glow yourself on it with your new wardrobe, with your nails, with your feet, with everything, with your skin, with your hair. Get yourself together. That's what it's going to be about, getting yourself together for a better you. And I ain't got nothing to leave down below but this recipe. Because that's all I'm going to leave down below for y'all. But, welcome to 2024, y'all. Let's get it, y'all. And I appreciate you. Newbies. People that's already in the club. K-Town. I'm here for you. Got a whole lot of stuff in store for you. 2024 for this year, y'all. Let's get it. I thank you for joining me. 
I am Kay, and you're watching It's Just K1. Please comment, like, and subscribe below. I will wrap a taste with you later. All right now, y'all. Cheers.